Well, it's a call to, it, to the head of state of Maryland, Governor Larry Hogan, to issue a state of emergency when it comes to race relations. Today's march was held in Annapolis, but organizers say the purpose behind the movement is felt statewide. It's a call for true equality. We believe that it's time for the state, the county, and the city to take race relations seriously. This March Sunday afternoon, including people of all races, was held at the Alex Haley Kunta Kinte Memorial in Annapolis. The call is to Annapolis's mayor and Arundel County executive, along with Governor Larry Hogan, to focus on race relations in the state of Maryland. No, he will not initially do it. Neither were the mayor, neither were the county executive. But I remind people that a movement is different from a moment. Headed by the Anne Arundel County NAACP and Councilman Pete Smith, the movement is motivated by events around the country and right here in Maryland. Freddie Gray's death, and most recently, black Bowie State University student Lieutenant Richard Collins stabbed to death by a white man with associations with white supremacist groups. Organizers say some people may ask, why now, why Annapolis? Nothing bad ever happens until it happens. When Martin Luther King Jr. called for the march on Washington in 1963, it was called extremists. The same thing happened in 1995 when they had the Million Man March. It was considered extremists. Looking back now, we know it was a moment and a movement that was necessary. So today is the catalyst for a new movement to begin to focus on systemic racism and white supremacy here in the state of Maryland. And Mr. Stoden goes on to say that he and many others are prepared to continue this call for a state of emergency until true action is taken.